our middle school and even our high school social lives are very tricky and difficult to navigate. So I'd like to unpack and maybe discuss why this whole journey, why this whole process is as difficult and as arduous as it ultimately needs to be, right? I'm wondering why we always feel like every detail matters. Every word we say, every action we do, all of the clothes that we decide to wear. It feels like the weight of the world is on our shoulders and at this pivotal moment in time, it feels like there are more questions than answers and I'd like to maybe understand why that is and then ultimately what we can do about it. So let's start off by understanding the problem. So from a developmental standpoint, we've been doing things a little bit wrong in my humble opinion. So let's start off with early childhood. Okay, from the youngest of ages, I can tell you as a parent who has young children, the way we identify who our children are and just where they stand in life is in comparison of other children. And so we'll do things like look at the children of our friends and we'll say, well, that child is walking and talking and eating, and so why is mine not? Or that child isn't shooting a jump shot yet, but mine is. It must mean that my child is superior to theirs. And so from the youngest of ages, we start off looking at other people and then using that to identify and understand who we are. And then as we navigate through the journey and we move on into adolescence, we start to see a shift. And instead of my desire for my child to do like others, right, that that kid is developmentally hitting a certain milestone and I wish that my child could do the same, now I start looking for the opposite. Now I start looking for my child to differentiate and to be special in comparison to their peers. And so all of a sudden I expect my child to be more respectful than the other children. I expect my child to be more responsible than the others around them. I expect more but based on what is around them. And of course, every single one of us as a child has heard this very famous line, very famous saying, as a child, I wanted to just punch my parents in the face every time they said such a message to me. But they'll say something like, well, if everybody was jumping off of the Empire State Building, would you do the same thing? Right? This is what we do. We compare our lives to others around us, but the theme doesn't change, right? Whether we want to be more like others in early childhood, or whether we want to separate and individuate ourselves as, as our own individual people, the theme is constant. We are constantly looking and judging other people to understand where we stand in life. That's problem number one. When you add problem number two to the mix, you get a recipe for disaster. And problem number two looks like this. Problem two is that everything around us is an illusion. It's false advertising. Life as we see it is likely not as life is. So what do I mean by that? Okay, I'm going to propose a thought that what exactly I'm judging and seeing, because we know that we're, our brains are hardwired to look at others, but what I'm looking at is not necessarily true, genuine reality. And how do I know this information? Because we do the very same thing in our own respective lives, right? Everything that we want the outside world to see of us has to be absolutely picture perfect, right? How many takes do we need to make in order to make sure that that selfie picture is absolutely perfect? How many times do we have to look at a mirror and make sure that our hair is just right or our collar is just buttoned perfectly in order to make sure that we're ready to go out into work or into school? Guys, we do this all the time and to pretend like we don't is a lie. We feel that our lives have to be picture perfect and so in turn we only allow the outside world to see a mere fraction 
of what life really looks like. But here's the thing, everybody else is doing the same. So when you are in your process of looking around and judging others, you see something that is not real. You see what they want you to see, but all of the dirty work that goes in behind the scenes, all of the struggles and the trials and the tribulations, you don't get to see. And so when you compare your life to the lives of the others around you, the cards are stacked against you you are automatically going to lose it even before you started to play the game. And so when you mix together all of these ingredients, you want to know what the recipe ultimately looks like? You want to know what the end result is? The end result is doubt and insecurities. And when I feel insecure about myself, and when I feel that I am inferior to those around me, you know what ends up happening? I end up feeling like the only way that I can pick myself up is by putting other people down. And we do this all the time. And yeah, you might want to say that it's boys being boys, and it's just a joke, and it's okay, and it's all fun and games. But even the funniest of fun, and even the jokiest of jokes, they penetrate and they penetrate deep, and it hurts. And just because you feel like it's a joke and it's just boys being boys doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt. And how sad is this vicious cycle that we live in? That here's the thing, all of us are partaking in this very activity, right? So all of us feel insecure, and all of us feel the need that in order to lift myself up, I have to put somebody else down. And so we're willing to insult and to joke and to make fun of and to do whatever it takes in order for me to feel better about myself. But as every single person looks at somebody else, they're looking at a picture-perfect life that is not the way that it is. And so how do we get out of this vicious cycle? right? If every single person deep down is living a life filled with doubt and insecurity, but in turn, they feel like they have to hurt somebody else in order to pick themselves up, that everybody's doing this to one another. How can we get out of this mess, out of this rut that we're in? It's a very simple answer. It's a very difficult concept, but it's very, very simple. And here's what I would love to propose and offer. Start from within. Start from a very basic foundational concept and understand something very simplistic. Every single person on this planet was placed here and was designed for their own mission and their own purpose. And everybody here has different skills, everybody here has a different passion, and it's up to you to discover your own passion and cultivate your own skill set to reach your own potential. When you really think about the constant judging and the constant looking around, it's really silly and idiotic, right? Basically, the message that we tell ourselves is, well, I must be losing at my mission because somebody else looks like they're winning at theirs. And even if they are, it's not the same mission and it's not the same test. So why do we keep doing this to ourselves? Why do we keep looking and why do we keep compromising ourselves the way we do? It's because we lack our own level of security. And for every insult you want to give and every insult you want to tell me that is just boys being boys, no problem. Maybe that's the norm and maybe that's the culture. But I also know attached to that boys being boys is a level of insecurity and is a level, a level of doubt that you lack within yourself. And so here's what I ultimately would love to see for all of us, because this is not an eighth grade boys problem, this is a human problem that all people struggle with, whether you're 12 years old, 13 years old, or 42 years old, because it doesn't stop, right? Even myself as a parent, it's hard. When you look around and you see the houses people live in and the, and the jobs people have and all of the different things that, you know, maybe other people show me that I don't get to have for my own. But here's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to look at other people, right, contrary to conventional wisdom, 
conventional wisdom would say, oh, just look the other way, don't look. But that's not real, right? We understand that our brains are hardwired to look at others. We're doing it from the youngest of ages. The ultimate goal is to be able to look at somebody else and say, great, they're doing them. I'm good with me too. And we can have win-win. Other people can do well on their own mission and their own pathways, and we can do the same on our own level, in our own realm. So here's the ultimate task. When you look at other people, can you identify two things? Number one, it's most likely not real, it's what they want you to see, not what is. And number two, Will you be secure and comfortable with who you are and how you operate because everyone is different and everybody has their own set of circumstances that they need to navigate? And in the famous words of poet Oscar Wilde, he once said, just be yourself because everybody else is already taken. Shabbat shalom.